Hi, welcome to this new CB Doki Weekly News. Well, today I will start with a module, an FPV module for the Rodeo Work Camera, the 150 cc the FCC video transmitter version. So, outputting 200 milliwatts or 100, I can't remember well. So, uh, when I received mine, Rodeo, it was a C version, outputting 25 milliwatts. And thanks to this module, uh, I, hope I, I don't know how to pen it. Yes, like this. Uh, I will be able to enjoy more uh, full range FPV. So in the same occasion, I will produce a video uh, showing how to uh, open the upper part of your Rodeo to install such a video transmitter because it's a little bit tricky to open it, at least the uh, upper side. So what came next? Well, a lot of different elements. Well, and voila. So main, basically some ESC. So they are the new uh, Raster ESC. Uh, they are. Uh, barely flashed and uh, the uh, smaller version 20 ampere uh, with a peak of 30 and they are uh, multi-shot it means that uh, it's supporting the classic uh, uh, one shot 121 uh, and also the last one uh, 42 so uh, enjoying the last features of uh, ESC I've got the uh, 20A version I've got four of them okay and also I've got the even higher 30 ampere, so uh, with the peak with 40, I guess, so even larger. So for a larger quadcopter, I've got four of them. And I will probably install it on the Diaton uh, uh, 160. Okay, it's a possibility. And uh, I've got some uh, more here to um, some uh, uh, 1306. Okay, so I will power in 4S and with a four inch props in my point of view. Yes, so it will be a uh, uh, okay, expect this bit log in a couple of days. Okay, we'll be able to take some time, so, but it's very good. So the last revision, the last technology for ESC, soon under testing. And, um, well, what is coming next? Wow, this is uh, the last Aomwe FPV monitor, the 10 inch model, they are deluxe edition. It's just a great FPV monitor displaying up to more than full HD resolution, 1920 by 1200, and a lot of characteristics. You have diversity, a built in DVR, a super sensitivity, a good uh, view angle, some speaker, some bother to indicate that you are on uh, low voltage. You have an HDMI input. Uh, you can even have, uh, have a USB port to display a multimedia, to input and multimedia. That's great. A lot of features, a ton of features. So uh, I expect very soon the uh, uh, full testing, but here is the uh, beautiful FPV monitor and it's pretty light. Okay, just give you some indication. You have a proprietary um, battery, but here the connection, the DVR, etc. So expect soon the uh, uh, review. And is not finished. Ta -da -da. What you have, this is the version V2 of the Achin uh, Assassin. 180. So, if you saw my video about the first version, it was probably the worst disaster uh, in terms of uh, racer quadcopter. Basically, mainly due by this very weak ESC 6 ampere only for 3S. It's just criminal. Okay, they understood the message, and now they offer uh, at least 12 ampere. Wow! And some other small design change in the design, so I can show you quick. So, uh, first of all, they changed the GPS now in the correct position. ESC now should be 12 ampere. Okay, I don't know if I can, yes. So you should have a double layer of uh, compound there. Wow, great. And they changed probably some stuff. Well, the maximum positive angle is not amazing. Oh, they make the bottom side more solid and some different element. Well, we will see if it's uh, start to be some to become something interesting, okay? I will review it, update my review. Okay, so expect this one as soon as possible. The Assassin V2 will be enough. And finally, what is again coming next? A new racer, so it's the Floron uh, Racer 250. So you, you will recognize the Uachin uh, FPV racer, but it's just a small modification, I guess, is the same factory. So this is a full version, including a seven-inch FPV monitors. Okay. 
So you have the full RTF, everything easier to uh, fly. So you have, uh, I can remember well, yes, it's open, you have to open like this. So I guess you have the first layers with the FPV monitors, yes. Like this, the radio, the FPV monitors, and the second one with the, with the quadcopter, wow. Da -da -da. It's a 250 quadcopter size. So yes, uh, you will recognize the first uh, variant. Still some nylon arms on structure, but everything seems to be in carbon. Not completely sure I will make the, perform the conductivity test. But now you have a uh, an A32 uh, Fine contouring board, that better. Okay, no more CC3D. Uh, large, oh yes, uh, light bars. Okay, the camera, oh, it's still it's floating, strange. How it's possible, it's floating. You cannot tune the orientation, that's strange. Okay, and um, we will see. And everything is coming in a full RTF, uh, FPV, it's including your FlySky uh, radio system. Okay, so, a good, good week for me. Expect all this review as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.